Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to the Campfire Crew. Today, as the title suggests, we have a very exciting update and it is the second last update in this project. It's my November update, so all we have left is to finish off December and I'm so excited to share with you guys what is going on. If you hear noises in the background, it is my boyfriend working out. Uh, I just wanted to get this done before I go to work today because I have a lot of things to do at the beginning of the month. I, I'm, tr gonna, I'm trying. Let's get into the project. If I'm looking down, I'm sure you all know by now, it is at my notebook, which has all of my beautiful notes for the project. So we're gonna start with the Divina palette. And the shade we have in the Divina is Nemesis. So Nemesis is this kind of deep ready purple. It's on my eyes today, kind of in between the red and purple, um, but it's this shade. And this month I've used it three times, including today. And in total in this project, I've used it eight times total in this project and since I'm um, getting my Carnival palette since tracking it. I have 13 total uses. It is nowhere near dips. This palette is so deep. Every shade is absolutely stunning, but so, so deep. So I, I was not expecting to get pan on any of these. And um, I'm definitely not going to get pan on it. This is what it looks like. It's this cool kind of gray tone on my finger. And it's just a really pretty outer shade color. Um, so I only have two more uses left. So next month, I'm definitely going to hit my goal with it, which is good because next month is obviously the last update for this year before we restart the project with new shades. And this is what the color looks like. Let me get a second swatch on here. And this is what that color looks like. Like I said, it's just this like dark kind of burnt purpley. It really doesn't swatch well, but it's very pretty packed on to the outer corner. The next shade we're going to talk about, you know what? Let's just get uh, some elephants out of the room. I have some pans and we're going to start with those today, mostly because I don't know, unlike last month, I don't know how I'm going to hide these pans from you. So we've got two pans in the palette today, and that comes, let me flip from, first of all, the shade Mango. Where was it? Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's the right key. Yeah, that's definitely the right key. Chris just found the laundry key we lost. I lost. It was me. I lost it. Anyway, that's also a very exciting update. So we have Mango, which you can see has this huge, huge pan. So I actually panned it, um, and it had this tiny, tiny little pan, but I used it yesterday. Not yesterday? The day before for my 100 follower special. I'll put up a picture. Anyway, um, and it was to go with the shirt I was wearing. So I expanded the pan a ton in that look. So now it's a big fat pan and I'm so excited. And I use this shade. Actually, I panned it on my 10th use and then I used it an 11th time um, to hit pan. So it was panned just in time, which is excellent. And in total, it's been used 21 times to get this big, oh my God, this big, juicy, beautiful, incredible pan. The next shade we have pan in, you might have guessed by the way I placed my hand. I don't know if you could, oh, you can tell, is Blaze. So Blaze is a shade that if you weren't here for the whole time, I rolled in my first month and then re-rolled in last month. So I've I used it 10 times 
in my first roll in, then rolled it out and then rolled it back in. And this month I used Blaze three times for a total, like all together total of 20 uses to hit pan on this. So unlike Mango, you can see it's a very tiny pan. I used it a lot in this look today. I was going to do a look that was a lot less red, but when I realized how close the pan was, I kind of went a little ham with the red. Um, and I'm not upset about it because now I have a pan and I'm very excited. The next shade we're going to talk about is let's talk about pearl so pearl is this shade right here next to mango it's this pretty whitey pink it has a bit of a pink flip it's a tiny bit purple it's just a really beautiful topper shade especially for light looks so that's oh so pretty it looks so pink in person right now but it looks very white in camera because the glitters are white. But it's this just really pretty pinky white shade. And I've used Pearl. This month I used it three times. And then over the project I've used it six. So I only have four times next month to use it. So I think I'm going to get to my ten uses. I definitely do not think I'm going to hit pan. There is no dip in the shadow. Um, because I, before this project, had literally never touched it. I thought I had touched every shade, but Pearl, I forgot about Pearl. So there's definitely not going to be a pan, but I think I'm going to get to my 10 uses before the end of the year, which I'm very excited about. The shade I rolled in with Blaze that does not have a pan is Blackberry. It's this dark purple that I have on the outer corner today. It's this shade. It's It's a shade I haven't used that much in this palette, but it is a really pretty dark, dark purple. So my color story for this month, my very last color story of the year, is these three, which are so pretty together. It's just a lovely purpley pink kind of color story. As you can see, it is such a dark, nice color. Again, I have it on the outer corner today, and it's just a really pretty color. So I'm excited to do lots of looks with these three colors. Um, I'm really excited. Oh, before I go, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. This month I used Blackberry three times. So that's three times total in this project, and then total, total, I've used it six times. So I still need to use it um, seven times, which I don't know how if I can do that, but I'm going to try to work all of these three shades into one look together and just pan that look and get them all to their goals by the end of the year. Wish me luck. Anyway, I'm very glad I have rolled I actually rolled out blaze this month because these three together I think is going to be so easy to make a really beautiful purple look with and I'm really excited to do that so obviously this can be a topper um I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to work these two in together I might do this like this all over this on top because I know those look pretty together and this to deepen it out um or maybe that on this and this to deepen it out with a couple other purples but it's going to be a very purple month and I'm really excited for it. Um, this wasn't a very long update but it was pretty easy to just tell y'all what was going on because I rolled out so many shades and I'm not rolling anything in obviously because uh, we're it's November 1st. Hopefully I get this out next week so I can do my finale and then have time to do my intro. It's going to be a wild month, I feel like, for me, but I'm so excited. So these are the only three things I have left in my project and we'll see if I can get them out by next year before I start my new project. I'm really excited to start that project. I'm really excited to see what I can do with these and I'm really happy that my palette is actually looking used and loved 
Look at it. Three pans. And I know that's not as many pans as other people get in their projects, but as a first time panner, like this is my very first project. This is incredible. I don't think I'm going to get any more pans, but I'm really excited that I managed to get three pans this year. Also, it's really funny to me that they're all in the exact same row. Um, I think that's absolutely hilarious, but I'm really excited about it. Hopefully next year we get some more differing colors. I'm sure we'll get lots of purple. I thought we'd get more purple actually this year because like most of this palette is purple. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm hoping next year we get the deep. Um, I'm hoping for some greens, but yeah, I'm just really excited. I managed to get three pans this year and excited to try and finish out the rest of the project. I will see you next month for the very last update in this project. And um, yeah, I'll see you next month and maybe sometime this month. I don't know. Any okay, okay. I'm talking too much. I'll see y'all later. Bye.